Okay. There's a microphone. Excuse me. Can you hear me? Yep, Curtis, why don't you come right up here and turn around and face them? Okay, I'd like to offer a testimony this morning for everyone that's here. Uh, I personally asked for prayers about two weeks ago or a little less uh, concerning a, a lady that we don't know, none of us know. My brother told me about she uh, got sick, she swallowed food, it went down in her lungs, and she had a nightmare from that time on. And they didn't think as little as a week ago that she would even live. They were fighting hard to save her life. This is the word I'm getting, is that she's out of the hospital, she's still just barely past the intensive care stage, but she's out. And she's in a nursing home somewhere in Lima, not far from the hospital. Which one, we don't know for sure. But it's my testimony is to the power of prayer. All of you who prayed for her and the other people that prayed for her, she lived. She's Yay. out of the hospital. Yay. Praise God. Thank you. You can take that back, too. And go, Thank you, Curtis. Thank you. We love to hear um, testimonies. Anybody else got one they want to shout out? This is the day. This is the time. Yes, Vicki. Mm -hmm. Wow. So Pam, your cousin was on a van ventilator for cousin's, cousin's wife on a ventilator for six weeks with COVID, and she is is she off the ventilator now? Praise be to God. Oh, that's awesome. And now they have a date scheduled when she will go home and we continue to pray for Pam. Yay, let's give that. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Yes, praise God. Awesome, awesome. All right. Amen for the testimonies. Praise God. We want to welcome all those that are watching online this morning. Thanks for joining us. And again, we encourage you that if you're looking for a church home, give us a try. We, 9 a.m. is our service. Walnut Grove is at 1030. And there's nothing, there's nothing more encouraging to someone than the body of Christ. The believers, which are us, loving on each other. So, and you, and you, and you really don't get that when you at home. And, so, and I understand if you can't. That's that's why we do what we do and live stream it to you. But if you're able to, come and join us. I'm sure you'll be, uh, you will be blessed. Right now it's time for our prelude and what we're going to do as the acolytes come. I want you to watch this video as we begin our Song Sing Sunday this morning. I've got 
all my life he's been faithful. And I'm often rem reminded of the scripture, and, it's, and it, I only remember it in times like this. When we are faithless, God remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. And what does that mean? If you accept Jesus as your, as your Lord and Savior, he resides in your heart. So when God is faithful to us, he's faithful to his son. He looks at not only us, but he looks to his son who resides in our heart. That's who he's faithful to. He's faithful to his son. And if we are, have accepted Christ, then he remains faithful. Even though we sin, even though we stumble, even though we fall, he remains faithful because he cannot deny himself. Amen. Let's open with a scripture as we begin. It is Psalm 146. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord all my life. I will sing praise to my God as long as I live. Do not put your trust in princes, in mortal men who cannot save. When their spirit departs, they return to the ground. On that day, their plans come to nothing. Blessed is he who whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, the maker of heaven and earth, the sea and everything in them, the Lord who remains faithful forever. He upholds the cause of the oppressed and gives food to the hungry. Let The Lord sets prisoners free. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the alien and sustains the fatherless and the widow. But he frustrates the ways of the wicked. The Lord reigns forever, your God. O Zion, for all generations. This morning we praise the Lord. Let's stand because we serve a good God. God is good. And all the time, let's stand as we sing. God is good all the time. He put a song of praise in this heart of mine. God is good all the time. Through the darkest night, His light will shine. God is good. Yes, He is. God is God is good. Understand all the plans you have. 
Turn to page 374, and then let's stand again. <laughs> Standing on the Promises, page 374 in your hymnal. Kyle, that's the red book that's placed in front of you. And they're, and they're numbered, and they're in order, and we're going to turn to 374, but you've got to turn it the other way around. And let's stand and let's sing, Standing on the Promises. Standing on the promises of Christ my King, through eternal ages let His praises ring. Glory in the highest I will shout and sing, standing on the promises of God. And I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of God my Savior, standing, standing. Standing on the promises that cannot fail When the howling storms of doubt and fear assail By the living word of God I shall prevail Standing on the promises of God And I'm standing, standing Standing on the promises of God My Savior, standing Standing on the promises of God, standing on the promises of God. Every moment to the Spirit's call, resting in my Savior as my all in all, standing on the promises of God, and I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior, standing, standing, I'm standing on the promises of God. Now you may 
may be seated. <laughs> That was, that was good, though. I like it. You, shouldn't be, you stand on the promises. You shouldn't be sitting. Amen. All right. We, got a re, we had a request for I got peace like a river. Amen. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. i got joy like a fountain, and I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Amen. Today, in the United Methodist Church, we, as All Saints Day, and what All Saints Day is, is that we recognize those saints who has left this earth and is now sitting with the Father in heaven. So we're going to honor those this morning. So I want to honor those who went, who left, went with the Lord this year, this past year. And then when I'm finished with, I have three, and when I am finished then, um, then I will ask you to say out loud names that you would like to recognize that have gone before us, not necessarily in this year. So I recognize Bruce Beener. Beverly Miller. Marlene Decker. And any that you would like to bring up. Oh God, we are so thankful for those saints that were here, left their mark in our lives, showed us who you are through their actions, their words, their love. We thank you, Lord, that we know where they are 
and who they are with. We are thankful to you for the promises that you have given us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. And we pray, Lord, that we can carry on what they have started, that we will carry on the work that you set before us, that we will continue to share the love of Jesus, the work of Jesus, and we continue to serve others and love others as ourselves. Bless the families. And thank you for our saints. Amen. Amen. You know, it's a sad time when a loved one leaves this earth, but it's a time of rejoicing because we know that they are going to spend the rest of their life with the Father. So we're going to celebrate a little bit, and we're going to sing this song, When the Saints, which is what they were, go marching in. Amen? Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, Lord, I want to be in that number. Saints go when the sun begins to shine. When the sun begins to shine, when the sun begins to shine, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the sun begins to shine, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number when the saints go marching in oh lord i want to be in that number when the saints go marching in amen amen i know our children have been waiting anxiously it's almost like they were on track starting blocks back there anxious to get up to the front so, children, if you want to come forward. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Jenny. All right, now good morning to you. <laughs> you guys are funny. You girls are funny this morning. I can say girls, can I? Ah, we don't have our one, our one token boy up there. Um, and we miss him. We miss you, Bo and Piper. Um, so the scripture, the, the theme today is God, um, love is God's greatest commandment. But I wanted to ask you, um, do you, I know two of you love to play games. How many of you like to play games, like board games and cards and, yeah, that's fun. Do you have a favorite game? favorite Harper say anything say anything oh my gosh <laughs> that sounds like that could get me in all kinds of trouble <laughs> I've I've prayed all my life to get away from that <laughs> that's funny I bet it, it I bet it's very funny I don't know that I've played that with with you that's funny what's would you rather prove it would you rather prove it that's a good one you would you rather do this or do that and then you whatever you say you have to prove it and you have to do it uh, um, uno and sorry oh, yeah. uno and sorry yeah those are good ones but there's different ones like it's what like there's like a black card and that's like if you have to prove it and then it's what you what you would do and what they would do oh okay okay a guess it, well, that's guess a, who guess who is a good one yeah tilly Uno, that's your, that's a good one for you. Yeah, this is phrase ten. Yes, that's I what. Like, oh, solitaire is a good that's one. A one I, solitaire is good. Yeah, yeah. I love playing games. Um, I like playing with other people. Solitaire is nice when there's no one around. But really, I, you know, if I had my rather's, it would be more fun to play with someone else. Um, but there's this game I love to play. Phase ten. Have you ever played it? Yeah. You've played it played it before. I don't think so. You don't think so? 
Yeah. Well, here, here, you can just read these simple rules. No. And um, no, then we're we not can, reading rules. And then we can play. No, we're not reading rules. We don't They're like not rules. as simple. She makes them. They're very, very tiny words. Oh. Well, there, there's, yeah, a few rules that come with this game. Just a few. Oh, yeah, we're right. Um, skip cards, all one color, wild cards, making a phase. Oh, making a phase? I think that's it. Oh, okay, making a phase. Yeah, hitting, scoring, going out, finishing a hand, the winner. Oh, that's the part I want to read. So, um, have you ever played with anybody that didn't follow the rules? Yes. yes. Have you ever <laughs> not followed the rules? <laughs> oh, look, Tilly, your face got red. <laughs> you have guilt written all over you, sister. <laughs> you don't need to answer. <laughs> <laughs> but that's Tilly. okay. Tilly, you know what? Here's here's a little secret. We've all done yes. that. <laughs> so have they. Everyone that's laughing is laughing because they have done that too. We'll just skip we'll just skip that particular rule. That one doesn't make any sense to us. That's funny. Um there's rules in life that we have to follow too. Yeah, there's rules in life that we have to follow too. And this is the rule book right here. This is our rule book. This is the Bible. And so, you know. There's also a lot of rules we have to follow at school. Should we agenda. read it if we want to know what the rules are? Yeah. Sure. Mm, probably so. We should probably be familiar with the rule book, shouldn't we, if we want to know how to live our lives. Well, during Jesus' time on earth, religious leaders like to sit around and discuss the law. Oh, that sounds interesting. They would sometimes ask Jesus questions about the law to try to trick him into saying something that would cause people to turn against him. People are always trying to trick Jesus. Say something that's going to, you know, half the people won't like you and half the people may, and then they'll fight among themselves. And one day they were questioning Jesus, and he answered them with one good answer right after another because Jesus is very smart and very wise. Um, one Jewish teacher asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? And Jesus answered him, the most important one is this, love your Lord, your God, with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There's a lot of rules in this book, and sometimes it may seem difficult to follow. It may be difficult to remember all the rules that are in here, but if you can remember just those two commandments, those two rules that Jesus said are the most important, everything else follows. Everything else follows. If we love God with our whole heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength, and we love other people like we love ourselves, the rest of the rules in this book follow along with that. So if you want to look that up when you get home, that is in Mark 12. Um, it's towards the end of the chapter, but you can read all of Mark 12. So say that with me. Mark 12. Okay. Love God and love others. And all the other things fall into place. Try that this week. I know I'm going to. Okay. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help us to love you with all our hearts and to love others. As we love ourselves. As we, love ourselves. we pray in your name. We pray in your name. Amen. 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 Kids, don't go, don't go, don't go. You guys can stand though. Stand. You can stand. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next slide. And we're gonna sing, and we can all sing this together. This is a song you all should know. This little light of mine. Everybody knows this song. Ever since Moby Dick was a guppy, everybody, everybody should know that. All right, and those are the those are the verses. This little light, hide it under a bushel, and don't let Satan. Are you ready? Okay. Absolutely. Light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. 
I'm going to let it shine. Hide it under a bushel. Oh, no. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out. I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan put it out. I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Amen. Very good. Thank you. The Grace United Methodist Church Kids Choir. Becky, there's your nucleus right there. <laughs> All righty, turn in your hymnals, and we're going to sing two hymns back to back, page 367 and 171, and these are, these are familiar. We had a request oh. to do some Gaither. I'm looking in my box. It, it's in there. I'm sure it was taken from there. <laughs> he touched me. Shackled by a heavy burden Neath a load of guilt and shame Then the hand of Jesus touched me And now I am no longer the same He touched me he touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now I know, he touched me, and made Since I met this blessed Savior, since He cleansed and made me whole, I will never cease to praise Him. I'll shout it while He turns. He touched me, oh, he touched me, and oh, the joy that floods my soul, something happened, and now I know he touched me, and made
turn in your hymnals to page 526. What a friend we have in Jesus. And we'll sing verses 1 and 3. fitting as we enter into our joys and concerns. <coughs> Go back to verse 1. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. We struggle every day. We don't have no peace in our lives. Oh, what needless pain we bear. Why? Because we don't go to God in, in prayer and ask Him to take it from us or to give us that peace. So this morning, as we enter into our joys and concerns, let's do just that. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. I'm sorry, misunderstood. I thought we were singing more. Many requests came in um, while we were heading while we while we were heading on the mission trip last Sunday. I got a phone call that my mom had fallen, and then later on got a call that she ended up in the hospital. She is out of the hospital and is um, in Crytersville, and. Um, She's doing okay. Um, so, but please um, keep my mom in your prayers and also um, my family. We may um, be making some decisions um, coming up. So please keep us in your prayers. Also, Wayne is not feeling well today and we need to keep him in our prayers as well. Also, while we were on the trip, then Donna got a phone call that her sister had fallen and she ended up breaking several ribs and breaking her shoulder in two places on her birthday. So um, I guess she got to enjoy her birthday and then fell. So um, please keep, uh, Carol is her name, so keep Carol in your prayers. Um, Donna did uh, say that she had a joy, she had a great week. That's a good, that's a good thing. And um, talking about returning next year. So yay. <laughs> um, Leslie from, uh, from Walnut Grove had asked for peace for her mom, Virginia, and peace for their family. Um, uh, Virginia has been placed on hospice, and so they are, that's what they are asking for at this time. Tony asks for continued prayers for Julie, for the hostages in Haiti, and um, the missionaries in Haiti who are being held hostage. Derek is actually not feeling well today either. Keep him in your prayers, along with Nanette, who is going through some tests. Uh, Wynette's niece, Donna, who is recovering from surgery. Um, Sue's uncle Russell in Alabama is having heart issues. 
Linda's friend Donna, uh, double mastectomy, mast mastectomy. Um, a friend whose husband uh, found nodules on his lung and is waiting for the results of the biopsy. Um, any of you who have been waiting for results from test, you know how that feels and that anxiousness that comes with that. Um, also, while we were on the trip, Linda in the back, um, sister was put in the hospital. <laughs> so, yeah, so we were wondering what was going on back here and why you people were not taking care of people back here. No. no. Um, so, uh, but she is doing, oh, she had a mini, mini stroke and she's home doing fine. So that was, that was good news. Okay. Okay. So Linda might be, um, might be, just keep Linda in your prayers. Um, also from on Facebook, there was a prayer request for Jake, Jake Fry. He is in St. Uh, Mary's Hospital with congestive heart failure. So keep Jake in your prayers. He has had quite a year, that's for sure. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Oh, Father, the song, oh, God, the, fa the, oh, God, the songs that we have sung this morning have brought you closer to us. Or maybe I should say have brought us closer to you. Father, you are always right here beside us. You are always right here, never moving from our side. Jesus living inside of us, the Holy Spirit residing in us. And Father, you never leave us. And sometimes, though, we, we take a couple steps in a different direction, or sometimes we may forget you are right there. And Father, our songs remind us of your presence. They remind us of who you are, of your faithfulness. They remind us that you are good. They remind us that we can stand on your promises. They remind us that you give us peace. Your songs remind us that the end of a saint's life is not the end. The end here on earth is not the end, but there is something more glorious waiting for them and for us. The, song reminds, the songs remind us that we are not to squelch our light. We are not to hide what we know about you or who you are. We are to spread that with everyone. And it remind, the songs remind us, Lord, that at all times we can expect a touch from you. And when we are touched by you, God, we are never the same again. Thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for being our friend. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for the prayers that were answered, that we heard the testimonies this morning. And Father, we bring up those requests to you today that I listed for each and every person, Carol and Virginia and Julie and the missionaries and Derek and Nanette and Wynette and Uncle Russell, for Donna, for the friends, husband waiting for results. For Linda, for Jake, for my mom, for Wayne. Father, we thank you that we can offer those prayers up to you and you hear, you listen, and you react. We thank you for your faithfulness. And God, we pray that there are the weeks to come that we are each one giving testimonies to these prayers. We are giving a testimony to how these prayers were answered, answered and how you were seen through all of these prayers in each person's lives in different ways. We thank you for the testimonies that we can share that you have worked in our life and that you never, ever leave us. 
That's a pretty powerful promise right there, God. That's one we get to hold on to. Some days go really smooth and we may feel like we don't actually need you or we can do this on our own. And then life hits us and we're reminded that um, we very much need you, God. Forgive us for those times when we think we can do this alone. Forgive us for the times when we um, don't come to you first. Forgive us for the times when we say, we have tried everything else, I guess I'll pray. And forgive us when we say, well, I don't know what to do for you, but I'll pray. <laughs> Prayer's powerful. You have shown us that over and over again. May we never forget. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you for the saints who went before us. Thank you for the ministries of this church. May we never grow tired of doing your work. We pray all this in the name of Jesus. And all God's people said, amen. So anybody who wants to talk about the mission trip may come up. Come on. <laughs> and if you want to sit in your seat and, or, and say something, Tilly is bringing you a microphone. Oh. Is she your spokeswoman? <laughs> you can show the first picture. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't know how. Oh. <laughs> That's, <laughs> that is, um, that's Angie. That's Angie. Angie. <laughs> and um, I'll, I'll say something real quick. Those, Angie and I worked up there in that section up there. We went up those steps and did some woodworking. That's why she's standing there in front of those steps. But the other picture with Angie in front of it is where the group stood. And we do have a picture of that. Did it get? And I forgot it. Uh, we do have a picture of that to hang up. This was probably my fifth year that I have gone, and each year I'm always reminded at just exactly how spoiled I am. Uh, uh, Donna and Linda and Teresa and I did mostly hygiene kits. A hygiene kit is strictly a a hand towel, a wash rag, a bar of soap, a comb. Um, a toothbrush, and nail clippers. What that has to do with hygiene, I'm, I've always wondered that. But uh, these hygiene kits came in the Yum Yum boxes that Kroger uses for their watermelons. So if you can get a picture of how big that is, and a hygiene kit will fit in a, a one-gallon Ziploc bag and half of it. So it's only this big. And uh, we did probably five pallets that had 28 boxes each, and each box had 24 kits in it. So that gives you an idea of how we spent. It got a little bit monotonous, uh, but we were able to also do birthing kits. Now, who thinks of a piece of plastic, uh, a piece of string, and uh, a bar of soap, and what, uh, two receiving blankets as, huh? Oh, and a razor blade. Uh, uh, you, those do not enter my mind, and, and to think about that, a woman would use that uh, uh, so the baby wasn't born in the mud. And uh, we also did a few, counted lots of, school supplies that had been brought in, uh, notebooks that had been uh, sent. Uh, we, uh, the pallets that we know of were uh, possibly going to Haiti. And uh, hopefully that this hand towel and bar of soap will give them a sense of cleanliness. Every time I go, I want to go home and sell everything I have and try to figure out how to live a little bit more simply. And, um, you know, I, I take for granted uh, going to the grocery store to get my, I don't even, you know, I, I use bed, ba body, uh, 
bath and body soap. I think, well, uh, yeah, I don't even think about a bar, a bar of soap. I don't even think about not having my comb or not having a toothbrush or, you know, any of those things. And here we are uh, each year reminded at how desperate and how needy people truly, truly are. And it makes you, makes you feel that uh, you should be doing more, but I always feel like that I have done something, that we have actually done something. Uh, and it's in a box and it's on its way. Uh, they shipped off a, a group of things, school desk and things to uh, Kenya, Africa while we were there and we prayed over that truck. Uh, they shipped off another group that went to Chicago that was going to get on a ship to go to, I forget. I in, in, oh, end in Chicago. Oh, yes, for the refugees that had been uh, taken from uh, the, the newest refugees, the Arab uh, area, and because there's a big community there. And, you know, uh, it's just almost overwhelming at what you think, what people absolutely need, but how wonderful these people that are there at the Midwest Distribution Center can come up and their contacts get all of the things. And the other thing I would like to say is I thank you very much for uh, helping me go financially. Uh, it's greatly appreciated and the lessons I learned will not be forgotten. So thank you for your generosity. Uh, Linda drove um, all the way there in the pouring rain Sunday. I drove home in part rain. Uh, we did well. Uh, Teresa is a worker that makes me seem like I'm sitting on a bench somewhere. <laughs> uh, Teresa did a lot of lifting and and uh, moving uh, of the boxes. Uh, so uh, I was very appreciative and I hope that um, everybody would have a chance to go whether uh, you think you can do a whole lot, which I couldn't. We did cook, nobody died. Nobody died. <laughs> nobody had indigestion. So Linda and I seem to have done something right. <laughs> but um, I was very fortunate to go. And if any of you have a chance, please. Uh, take that, and if ever you get a note from them, a dist uh, send any money that you possibly can. They are very wise spenders, and they use it totally for groups of people that truly need help. Thank you, Becky. That was, a, that was a great summary, appreciate that. You can just slide through there. As you can tell, it was absolutely no fun being with Angie at all. Um, and this, is, this was up those steps, and that's the room we worked in. Normally that door was closed, this door here. Um, but we were able to finish up. These are school desks that were going out. We end up finishing a pallet, so we got to watch the, the lift truck come and, and take those out and... and um, and get ready to be shipped off. So we did, we sanded, Angie and I sanded and polyurethaned and got desks ready for, you know, after it gone through the many phases that they go through, that was the finishing touch. Um, the next one is good. That was our kitchen. That was where Becky and Linda spent most of their time um, in the kitchen. So nice facilities. That, <laughs> that is, yes, yes. That's my grad my senior picture. <laughs> Look at my leg just hanging there. For no, no. I have no idea. That is Walnut Grove's brick is what that is because they had given $500 a couple of years ago. So I found their brick and Angie egged me into doing that. Okay. Um, and there's Teresa. I wish she was here. That's... Um, yeah, Joe said... <laughs> That's what he said. Is that, is that you? Like, you didn't wear makeup? <laughs> I don't know. I think I have too much makeup on. Oh, that's funny. Um, this is us eating the delicious meals that were made. I'm not sure where I was. There's my Bible and there's my drink. I probably went to the bathroom or something. But um, Oh, and that, that is, um, 
Well, we were getting ready to put, we were getting ready to put a cord around those desks. And I thought those things looked like, you know when people exercise and they do that? So I go, Angie, take my picture. And I actually posed on purpose like that, <laughs> having no idea what I was going to look like. And, it, and then it struck me really fine. So go on. That's how that was. And that's our, that was our workspace. Um, Angie and I took most of the pictures. That's why we have most of us. Sorry. And you move on. Is there any more? Is that it? Okay, so that was it. Um, and we kept thinking we would come down and get you guys working, but then we would get caught up in something and never did. And I told them they had pictures to send them, and they didn't take pictures of them working. They are very humble servants. They do it without recognition, and they need nothing in return. Angie and I actually need accolades, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So um, it was a beautiful trip, and thank you very much for your support. And we did take a tithe check to them um, in the name of Grace United Methodist Church. And so you have donated to them. You helped us with our trip, and um, very much appreciated. We, we love going there. Do you have another song to end with? Okay. Take your hymnals and turn to page 378, and we'll sing Amazing Grace, verses 1, 2, and 4. enjoyed our Sunday song sing. We haven't done it for a while. Thank everybody that submitted songs along the way. We, we, we had a lot, so we may have to do this again sometime and catch up with the ones that we didn't. So as we close, go with this blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord turn his face toward you and give you peace the lord bless you and keep you make his
his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and be Join us next week. So long, everyone.